and welcome to Down to Earth. I'm Daphne Richards. Our question today is about mosquito dunks and whether or not they're safe to use in your rainwater harvesting barrels. And then if you want to use that water on your vegetable beds. These products are actually very safe. So they are safe to use in your rainwater harvesting barrels, even if you're going to use that water on vegetables. They are microbial larvicides, and the active ingredient is a bacillus bacterium, usually bacillus thuringiensis, more commonly referred to as just BT. And if that sounds familiar, it's probably because you've used that BT product to kill tomato worms in a different form, of course, or some other chomping caterpillar, which these are also active on. The Bt bacterium is lethal to the larvae of certain insects, but it has no toxic effect on humans or animals. So yes, it's very, very safe. These products are only active for about 30 days though, so put yourself on a schedule and make sure to follow it or you will have mosquitoes. But you could also use a very fine mesh screen, such as those for windows, as long as you can keep the mosquitoes away from being able to land on the water and lay their eggs, you'll be fine. Our plant this week is shrimp plant, Justitia brandigiana. This is a very popular perennial in our area because it is very beautiful. It not only has beautiful flowers, but also very attractive foliage and a wispy growth habit. It gets about three feet tall and wide, but it can spread very easily into a much larger colony if you give it the space. The stems are weak, and thus they lay over a bit in a weeping habit that sways nicely in the breeze. It's been windy this year, so that's a very pretty plant. The flower spikes are born at the tips of the stems and they droop in a slightly curved arch. The actual flowers are small and emerge from colored bracts that range in color from a rusty pink to a dark red. As you might guess, these flowers do resemble shrimp, which give it its common name. Some great selections have been made in breeding this plant, leading to cultivars with floral blacks ranging from yellow to a bright red to even a lime green, which can be very interesting. You can also find cultivars with various foliage colors from a deep green to a striking purple. Shrimp plant is listed as hardy to zone eight and it will remain evergreen in mild winters. If we have a colder winter, it might freeze to the ground, but it will reemerge in the spring. It does great in both full sun and part sun areas. It prefers well-drained soil, so be careful about overwatering if you have clay. It does need regular irrigation to maintain it, but planting it in light shade will also help it use less water. To do in your garden this week, it's time to plant seedlings of tomatoes and peppers. Yes, again for those summer plants, if you want to have a second harvest season this fall. We'd love to hear from you. Please visit klru.org ctg to send us your question or a plant of the week from your garden. Mm -hmm.